Michael Gove has said the SNP's voting record at Westminster could mean the party wants a no-deal Brexit. Speaking via video link from Westminster, the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster was giving evidence to a Holyrood Finance Committee on Brexit. The statement was set up by Glasgow Conservative MSP Adam Tompkins, who asked Mr Gove if he thought that in voting against the agreements brought by Theresa May and Boris Johnson on four occasions, did he think it was because they wanted no deal. Mr Tompkins said that the deal brought by Boris Johnson addressed SNP concerns on a hard borrow with Ireland and on EU citizens' rights. He asked, given that this deal provides for so many things that the SNP has rightly demanded, do you understand why the SNP continue to vote against it? Is it because they want a no-deal Brexit? Mr Gove took the opportunity to suggest the SNP had party political motivations behind their voting. He said, I certainly don't want a no-deal outcome. The best means of avoiding a no-deal outcome is to vote for this deal. The failure of SNP MPs in the House of Commons to vote for this deal so far would allow a lot of people to draw the same conclusions as you have Professor Tompkins, yes. Mr Gove was challenged on the latest agreement by SNP and Green MSPs that it ignored Scotland by accepting the need for consent from Northern Ireland. Bruce Crawford, committee convener said, Northern Ireland will get a differential deal but Scotland has to leave with no say and no differential deal. He asked how that was based on mutual trust. Mr Gove responded by stating the results of the Scottish independence referendum and the terms of devolution. He said, trust depends of respecting referenda. International relations and negotiations are reserved matters for the UK government. He added the situation in Northern Ireland with the Good Friday Agreement was specific and unique. He said that concerns of the Scottish government were listened to but negotiations were done on a UK basis. Meanwhile the attempt by Boris Johnson to bring back the deal he negotiated with the EU for a second vote in Parliament, after a government defeat at the weekend, was thrown out by the Speaker John Burko. Mr Burko said the motion was the same as that debated on Saturday and couldn't be taken again. The Prime Minister is now set to bring forward the withdrawal agreement bill today and try to get it passed before the end of the month. However, if it falls then either the EU grants an extension until January but that could include a condition of either a referendum or a general election. Or if the EU rejects the extension the UK would leave the European Union on October 31 with no deal. The government is urging MPs to back the bill, despite the Prime Minister having no majority for more on this story, visit the news article link.